Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Sorry about the lighting. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Yesterday, I was so severely hungover, I could not leave my bed. I have not had a hangover that bad since I was like 20. It was intense. So... I'm excited just to feel human today. Not gonna lie, I don't feel 100%, but I've not had breakfast yet. So I'm hoping after I've eaten, this lighting just really isn't working for me. Um, I'm hoping after I've eaten, I just feel a bit more human. I've only got myself to blame. I'm not looking for sympathy, but yeah. So this morning is a self-care morning. I've had a shower, I've washed my hair. My skin is so dry. I don't know if you can see. Probably not. Uh, but my skin is so dry. Probably because I'm so dehydrated. So we are going to try and hydrate the skin. But yeah, that was rough. <laughs> I feel like sometimes you just need to get really drunk to remind yourself why you don't really get drunk. And plus I didn't eat, so completely my fault, but I had fun nonetheless. Um, anyway, I'm just going in with the Paula's Choice toner. This is amazing. Um, just be careful not to overuse it, otherwise it does damage your skin. I've got a day full of meetings today. Um, I'm going to do two pumps of this today. This is just the L'Oreal water cream. Super hydrating, which obviously I need. Um, so yeah, I've got a day full of meetings. It's probably good because it will get me out of the house. I feel like I need fresh air. Um, oh, and yeah, it's a good way to start off the week. So I'm gonna meet my manager. But yeah, this lighting is shocking. So let me get ready and then I'll catch up with you properly. Okay, I'm all ready. I'm having a good hair day. I mean, it might not last. Let me go in here. It might not last when I go outside, but the volume today, 10 out of 10. Um, so I've kind of got a suit on. It's not an actual suit, but it looks like a suit. I don't actually need to be smart for my meetings, but you know how much I love a suit. Because I'm not going to wear a coat. Brave, I know, but I wax on a roll neck instead. So yeah, very business-like, I feel. And my hair's going, going good. Also, this is my new mirror. What do we think? Obviously, the plan is to actually hang it up eventually but for now it can just stay there good morning guys coming to you all dressed and ready for once not in my dressing gown so i've actually got a lovely little day planned i'm off to see lauren grace i feel like i've got so many laurens in my life and then we are off to jo malone and we're gonna have a sneak peek of their new perfume and just spend the day with them which will be so lovely I'm finally getting to wear my skirt that I bought for New York, but didn't get to wear it. So I'll show you my outfit of the day in the mo. Um, and because we are off to see Jo Malone, I thought I'd wear a Jo Malone perfume. So this is the Velvet Rose and Oud one. If you watched my beauty favourites, you would have seen it there. This is the skirt, which I'm just obsessed with. I've just paired it with... A black jumper, some black boots, and then I think, excuse the tripod, I've been filming. I think I'm gonna wear my denim jacket. Okay, so this is the final look. I just had to text Lauren, Lauren Watson, um, to see if this jacket goes, and she said yes. Yeah. So we're gonna go with this look. Skirt is River Island, boots are naked, they're like under the knee, so I'll be warm. Jumper, I want to say ASOS, I can't actually quite remember, but I'll link similar. And then, of course, my trusty Alexandra Wang jacket. I kind of like it. 
I do, I enjoy this. Also, I've just got my like vintage Prada bag because I'm really in need of a black bag. I would love to buy the Chanel bag Lauren has. I wore it so much in New York and it just went perfectly with every outfit. But let's be realistic. One, probably you won't be able to find it. And two, it will probably cost me an arm and a leg. But I am going to try and look pre-loved because you can normally get really good deals pre-loved. So that is the next purchase on my wish list. If not, I'm thinking maybe... Actually, I don't know what other black bag. Look. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Thank you. Oh, very fresh. That's lovely. It's very. I'd say it's probably one of the more intense. Yes, absolutely. I'm with. I've got his vlogging camera. We just had to go home. I haven't until. So me and Lauren have come for lunch. I got the chicken, Lauren got the salmon, some fries to share. Hello. <laughs> Yummy. We're at um, Basaria Light. Beautiful. Lunch is all done, now we're heading home. Short and sweet, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. No. But we've had a beautiful day none nonetheless. Yeah, it was lovely. So, back home now. Got straight into my comfy trousers. It was quite short and sweet. Normally, me and Lauren hang around all afternoon and just chat, but we both have stuff to do. So, we literally met this morning, popped into and other stories. I did actually film a few bits, so I'm going to start that now. great things in they just don't really have um many of my sizes so i'm actually gonna have a little look tonight and maybe do an online order because yeah i could have bought everything in store i didn't even really show you that much because one the outfit i was wearing was quite a weird outfit to try bits on if that makes any sense and two yeah they just didn't really have a lot of sizes Anyway, so then we went to Selfridges after to see the lovely girls at Joe Malone and they kind of gave us a little goodie bag. So I'm going to have a look. We discovered the new Roses range and I mean, if you smell Joe Malone perfumes, you will know how good they are. Look how sweet the lovely packaging is. I kind of just don't want to open it. Oh, it even comes with a little... How sweet. So, you get a beautiful candle in rose blush. And then you also get a perfume, but it comes in this little pouch, which is just super lovely. So, we smell three rose scents. Um, and this is the one I went for. I think me and Lauren actually ended up going for the same one. It just smells so lovely and fresh. Oh, so I was torn between this one and then they also had another one which I really liked called Rose and Vanilla, I think. Rose Water and Vanilla. And that one was so nice and I love vanilla. But this is like nothing I've currently got in my perfume cupboard so i thought i'd go for this we also did try the red roses which is basically the stronger version of this this one's a little bit more subtle and softer good morning guys so well i say morning it's now afternoon it's 20 past 12 um i have actually been filming all morning i've just filmed a zara haul but that will be up 
before this video um so i'll link that down below in case you do want to watch that but a few updates the girl has finally got a new phone after dealing i'm not sure if you can see you can't see but this phone is smashed to absolute pieces and anytime anyone sees it they're like this is your job and you're <laughs> you're going around with a phone like that and i'm like i know i know um so this is the back of it so it's literally like the camera smashed the whole front is smashed so yeah finally got a new phone after sorting that out but i did just film on my old one rather than my new one because the camera on this new phone is so harsh i don't really like it but i think maybe it's just because i've not sorted the settings out not really too sure but yeah that has been my morning so far it also had a jewelry de delivery this morning so naturally i put it all on <laughs> but i've got these new little earrings if you can see i thought they were super cute so i've got one in silver one in gold because i'm very much enjoying silver and gold together. Then I got this sweet little necklace. So yeah, that's pretty much my updates I have for you. Now I'm just gonna sit down, edit the Zara haul. I've got my tea at the ready. I'm gonna try sort this new phone out. And I'm just gonna try and get all my work done as quickly as possible so I can actually go to the gym because I've not, I think I've been to the gym once since being back from new york and i have been trying to work out from home but i just need to get my flow back because it makes me so much more productive it gives me so much less brain fog and i feel like the reason i feel a bit like ugh at the moment is because i've not been working out properly and i've definitely not been eating properly so i'm just gonna try and get back into the swing of things and i definitely didn't get out of bed this morning to work out from home either so that is on today's agenda catch up on some work then hopefully get back into the gym good evening guys i feel like i can only vlog in this room past a certain time so i have moved <laughs> my spot but this is the only place with some kind of lighting um i didn't make it to the gym and i'm a bit annoyed with myself but i mean i'm gonna get over it <laughs> but my shoulder is in so much agony and normally i still go to the gym obviously just avoid how do i take these earrings out um just avoid doing any like shoulder stuff but honestly i'm gonna try and get a doctor's appointment tomorrow um and just book in some therapy i need that as well but um physiotherapy but i think i need a x-ray on it because i'm worried that it's something a bit more serious than i originally thought but anyway i'm just making some dinner um i'm not gonna work out but i am gonna stretch purely because i've not left the house all day i've been sat in this little spot editing all day and i just feel like I need to stretch my body. And then dinner wise. I'm just going to have these. Um, which by the way. Very much enjoyed. You only get five in there I think. So I'm done already. But highly recommend. And then you just shove them in the oven. So they're super quick and easy. So I'm either going to have that with rice. Or like a wrap not quite sure because i really need to do a food shop good morning guys so i'm just getting ready for the day as i'm just filming some work things from home finally managed to book a doctor's appointment i mean the quickest i could get was tuesday but that's fine but gone are the days you can actually get a doctor's appointment on the same day um because last night or yesterday my shoulder was giving me ag all day um but normally like it will hurt for an hour and then it will go back to normal but last night i could not sleep it was so painful to lay on it and i just thought 
stop putting it off like a bloody appointment so i did so that's one thing off my list this morning um so that's next week also next week i'm getting my floor done in my dressing room which i'm so excited for and i've got lauren watson coming to stay so it's all go 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 i've not ordered my wardrobes yet i don't know if i should wait until um everything is out of that room and the new floors down because i don't know if i'm gonna be able to like i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna change my mind and at the moment ikea only have i think like a week turn around so i might just wait to order the wardrobes and just use the rails for like an extra like week or two but yeah i'm very excited for that i feel like next week is gonna be a fun week which is good because i feel like this week has literally just been spent pretty much at home um which is i mean nothing new in my life <laughs> okay makeup is all done my lip products are downstairs um in my handbag i think but i'm just gonna go in with taupe in the meantime i normally use fawn i mean this one's still great but fawn's a little bit darker which i prefer but i just can't take myself seriously with no lip liner on <laughs> i'm obsessed i know i keep going on about it since i bought it but i literally just bought it randomly for the sake of buying it which is the real problem of my of mine um but i did genuinely need like a new foundation and where this was a skin tint i was like oh that will be nice it's amazing it's so good and it just gives you like well it is actually called a blurring skin tint but it does literally make you look flawless and i wear shade eight and it's like the perfect match so if you are after a new skin tint like a foundation kind of thing i would highly recommend that and now i'm gonna sort this out okay <laughs> now for the brush out which is my all-time favorite thing Okay, now let's go and do some work. <laughs> okay, so change of plan. I'm gonna head out to my friend's house. She needs help with some work bits and I'm gonna bring her some outfit options for her meetings. So I've got a few bits here I've just pulled for her to try on. And from there, I'm gonna go to the gym. So, got my gym kit on. This is my new bomber from Zara, if you watch my Zara haul. I can confirm I've kept this one. I do feel like I could have got a large. This is a medium, but I love it. Um, what else? I just need to spray some perfume and I think I'm ready to go. So it's many, many hours later. I'm now home. I've been to the gym, so if I look like a sweaty mess, that is why. But that felt so good and i feel better for it already i mean i'm achy but i feel good that i've worked out and then sorted my friend's outfit situation out and then i've done a big food shop but <laughs> i feel like when i go to the gym and work out it motivates me to eat healthier because when i'm not working out i just eat crap and i'm like mm, doesn't really matter so, quick run through. Got some quavers because I can't give up my crisp. Regardless how healthy I want to be, I can't give up my crisp. And um, quavers are like healthy ish, they're 86 calories. Got some eggs. Um, got some, what are they called? Clippos? No. What are they called? Like the fruit ice on these things. I'm just gonna get me whack them in here because they're probably melted. Um, they're just like low calorie. By the way, I'm not on a diet or calorie counting. I'm just 
trying to make healthier choices. Um, got some chicken, got some wraps, got some veg. Um, I got these, like healthy steam bags. I thought they would just be quick and easy for lunch or some like, chicken. Got some vanilla yogurt. Got some fruit. Got my protein yogurts. I only buy like two at a time because I kept not eating them and they were going out of date. So I figured if I could just buy like two at a time, then it's doable. Um, more chicken because it was two for seven pound. More oat milk. By the way, Iceland really served the deals. I'm so impressed. Um, bagels, some lemon limes, obviously some cream eggs because I'm addicted. And then I also popped into boots because I needed more of my like my, like pre-workout thing I take and it's actually from women's best but they do it in boots so got another one of that and i just bought this protein because i've been out of protein for ages and i've not done an online order i've not tried this brand before but from with vanilla surely you can't go too wrong with vanilla okay well that's pretty much it i'm gonna have like chicken salad wraps for dinner what is the time half five so that's going to be for dinner i also need to shower i also had oh, had a top up of a few of my grow gorgeous favorites by the way i know this lighting is so bad but i hope you can just work with me so i just ran out of some of my grow gorgeous bits so i got the champagne conditioner i got the repair because I've got the intense range still upstairs. Um, also got the hair serum, you know, I love. I might actually do that. What am I doing in the morning? Maybe I'll do that tonight. And then I also got scalp care because I was talking to Millie Hobbs the other day when we went for lunch and she was telling me how important the scalp was. And I was like, hmm, don't really look after my scalp. So I'm gonna try this scalp detox scrub and see how i get on and then just more of my hair mask i feel like that was a lot also as i've mentioned the um floor in that room is getting done next week so i actually have i've booked i paid like a collection a rubbish collection thing um to arrive tomorrow at 7 a.m so i need to try and get all the rubbish in this house outside the front so they can pick it up so they can pick it up tomorrow only thing is there is a big chest of drawers in that room that i need them to pick up but apparently they're not allowed to help you carry the stuff outside so i'm gonna attempt to move it by myself and i wonder why i've got a bad shoulder but I'm gonna attempt to move, move it myself, but if not, I'm just gonna have to, I don't know, maybe when the floor people come, I'll just say to them like, I'm so sorry, but I literally could not move that chest of drawers. Can you move it for me? Kind of thing, but ideally I'll get rid of it tomorrow. Okay, so that is now outside the front, ready for it to be picked up in the morning. Not gonna lie, I got stuck in the front door bit for at least 15 minutes and I just sat there thinking should I just leave it here <laughs> but I managed to take it out I mean that room is an absolute mess I need to sort it out but I'm running myself a bath I'm exhausted and that was hard work I was tempted to knock at my neighbours to be like excuse me please can you help me but I've not quite got that relationship yet so I thought I'll just figure it out myself now I'm gonna run a bubble bath and have a pamper because look at that suit state of me. So I was just about to run out to the post office, but I thought I'd quickly check in and vlog before I do that. So I feel like by the time I get back, it's just gonna to be too dark. I did attempt to vlog today on my phone, but I don't know if that's actually gonna make it into this video. 
don't know how successful that was but I'll quickly give you an update of my day I went to the gym I'm back in my gym flow um that was great minus the fact that I did fall flat on my face well not really I felt more I don't mm. I don't know how to explain it, but a stair master was broken. I stepped on the stair master and obviously the steps weren't working. So they literally said, and I went with it. So that was great. I thought I broke my finger, but I didn't. Got up and just like swiftly walked off, hoping no one saw me, but they definitely did. So I'm really glad I got up at half five to experience that. That was, that was a highlight. But I did have a very good gym session. And then went to Zara to do my returns. And I just had a right kerfuffle because basically, because the stuff I bought in store, the lady was like, um, I'm just gonna have to get my manager. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but basically she was like, have you got a staff card? And I was like, no. She was like, you've bought this on the staff card. I was like, I bloody wish I had a staff card, but I don't. She was like, it says here that it's bought on a staff card. And I was like, well, don't really know what to tell you because I unfortunately do not own a Zara staff card. And then she just won't get in it. And basically she was like, well, I can't refund you if you've not got your staff card to refund you on. And I was like, I genuinely don't have a staff card. I don't know why the lady would have put it through as, I don't know, I was so confused. Um, anyway, ended up giving me a gift card. <laughs> so I didn't really get my money back, but I mean, I am going to spend that eventually. But yeah, what a nightmare. And she was just so rude. I just couldn't be bothered to keep going back and forth. So I was like, do you know what? Not a big deal. Just give me a bloody gift card and I will no doubt spend it anyway. And then popped into H&M, got some jeans, which which I will insert here. Um, so that, that was great because I find it so hard to get jeans and all my other ones just don't really fit me. So, by the way, I did have a cute outfit on. I feel like I always start the day in a cute outfit and then one, this house gets so cold so I just need something warm on and two, I'm normally just running around or on the sofa so I need something comfortable on. So, so leggings and a cozy jumper it is. Good morning guys. So we're gonna head off to the gym. I'm just gonna do some skincare and then head off. But last night, I had a cozy night in bed. I've got a habit of taking that microwavable warm patch thing to bed because it just like warms me up and makes me sleepy. Anyway, last night it exploded. And now I'm left with this. So I don't really know what to do about that. I also have an underwear ad I'm doing this week. So that is gonna look great. <laughs> but anyway, I've got Gymshark set on. I actually did just get a Gymshark delivery, so I'm gonna open that. I um, don't know if I can show you that yet though, but maybe I'll do a haul because when I was picking my bits, it was one of my favorite ones. So very excited for that, but yeah. Let's go and sort this dry face out. 